Before starting the tutorial, I would like to teach you how to add the new objects that we have been using to Manim, without the need to be pasting the code in each of the files we do. For this, we create a new folder in Manimleaf and save the file with the source code of the objects, including the line that imports the packages. We save this file in the folder we have created with the name you like. To add it to Manim, we open the file that contains all the Manim packages. And add the following line here. We keep the changes and check that they work. To transform an object to another one, use the transform command. As first parameter, the name of the object that we are going to transform is written. And the second one is the object to which it is going to transform. There is also another command, replacement transform, which apparently does the same thing, but what is the difference? Copy the two scenes that I will leave in the description. What is transform and what is replacement transform? If you render them, you will see that both do exactly the same, but the process is different. We see that the first part of the code is exactly the same in both cases. The texts are assigned to the variables and the variable M1 is added to the screen, that is the letter A. The difference comes later. Let's first analyze the case of transform. Note that variable M1 is found in all transformations. The process is the following. In the first transformation, to the memory block M1 is assigned the M2 block, but M2 does not change. Only M1 and the variable that we see on the screen is M1 at all times, not M2. In the second transformation, Exactly the same happens. To the M1 value is assigned the one of the M3, but M3 does not change, and the variable that we are seeing on the screen is still M1. And in the third transformation, the same thing happens. Note that the variable M2, M3 and M4 are not displayed. They have not been added to any time. All the changes have been in M1. Now, in the case of replacement transform, we start the same. The variable that is shown on the screen is M1, but when making the first transformation, the variable that we see on the screen is M2, not M1. And M1 has changed its content by the one of M2. Now the variable M1 has been hidden. It has been replaced by M2. In the second transformation, 
the same thing happens. The value of M2 is replaced by M3 and M2 is hidden. That is the difference between transform and replacement transform. If you ask yourself then which one should I use, the answer is simple. It depends on which one suits you the best. For example, in this scene it is explained that the derivative in a sum is distributive. In the variable formula, there is the code of the whole formula. First, we write the first seven elements, that is from block 0 to 6, and then we transform block 0 to blocks 7 and 10. Note that if the object we are transforming is the same, then it will not change. It will only appear moving. Although sometimes this can fail, we'll see that in the next tutorial. The copy command is used to make a copy of the object, and since we are using replacement transform, then this value will be assigned to the second parameter. In this scene, we can start using variable lists. The following scene is an example of how they are used. To have a better order when making transformations, it is useful to save the changes in a variable. In the variable changes, I write as the first set the blocks of the first formula, and in the second set the blocks of the second formula. To reduce the code, we use variable lists. It is your task to analyze how it works. It's not complicated. In the next scene, multiple changes are made. It is the same structure. To animate the change of the properties of an object, apply method is used. And as the first parameter, it has the name of the object to which objects are going to be applied, followed by the property to be modified.
You can also make changes to the properties by omitting the apply method, but in general, it is much more useful to use create a target. The process is the following. Create an object with certain initial properties. Use the generate target command. What this command does is make a copy of these two which we can make certain modifications and then transform the initial object to this copy. To change the properties of the object target, the format is as follows. To animate the transformation, we use the move to target command and in parentheses the name of the object. As exercise, I recommend you to try to play the following animation. I will leave you the source code of this animation, but you should try to reproduce it by yourself. <laughs> 